Ryan, I hope you aren't afraid. Ryan, I hope you aren't afraid of heights because we are about to go in what used to be the tallest building in the world. Yeah, no, it's not anymore. It's not anymore. Do you mind? I'm filming. So we are in Chicago and super excited about to go in the Willis Tower, which used to be called the Sears Tower. It's a really tall building here where you can uh, go on what's called the Sky Deck and overlook the city. Just get a good panoramic view. So we got the city pass here. Sky we... Deck entrance. Yeah. So we are about to go to the top of the building and uh, and look, give a little look-see. Yeah, and uh, look, see what they got. Let's go. Okay, we are on lower level two. We're going up to Look level this guy. 130. Yeah. Oh gosh. Welcome to the sky desk. You're on your way to the top of the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. Along the way, you can watch as we pass by some of the tallest buildings, monuments, and structures in the world. We already going back. 1450 foot modern marvel and one of the tower's 104 elevator cars. Your trip to the sky deck will only take about a minute. That means your elevator is traveling at a speed of more than 24 feet per second. The tower opened its doors in 1973 and held the title of the world's tallest building for 25 years. The west antenna reaches 1,730 feet above the Chicago streets. We're now passing 850 feet in San Francisco's Transamerica Pyramid. 970 feet in the Eiffel Tower. I've popped my ears like 40 times. 1,062 feet in Paris's stunning Eiffel Tower. The Bank of China Tower in Hong Kong. 1,250 feet in the Empire State Building in New York. And now we're here, 103 stories up. Welcome Super to the top. Fast. Cool. Whoa. <laughs> this is really cool. Yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna do it. You can see the trains down there. You can see like Michigan. That's where we were earlier. I think oh, yeah. the last the uh, uh, house for you could have planetarium. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then that's the Right there is where the museum is. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Field Museum. It's right there. This is crazy. Woo! That elevator ride was not bad. It was. When I did the Empire State Building, it took like five minutes. That was like super fast. In fact, I don't believe I don't believe that this isn't just like a projection wall. It could be. I don't think we're up high at all. And they just somehow depressurized so our ears would pop. Okay, you can look. You can look straight down the glass. 103 floors. Come on! No, it's not a big deal. It is kind of. Let's let that oh, no. <laughs> Come on. You got it. You got it. You can do it. I did it. And like I said, look. Did you just do that? If the floor gives way, one of us is going to get a lot of money. I know. So, you want that one to be like, well, a lot of money. Well, go on out. You can do it. This is insane. You can literally walk out over Chicago, 103 floors up. Brian was loving it. Oh, living for that moment. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It wasn't just, that bad. You just need to like trust the glass. You need to go, okay. Are and you it's good? very thick. Are like, you good? Yeah. And it was good. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> but this view is just too cool. It makes you realize because when you look at downtown Chicago from far away, the big buildings cover up all these little ones. You don't realize there's so many. You don't realize it's so dense down here because the tall towers kind of cover everything else up, but there's so many big buildings. If you think about all the people that live here and work here, thousands of people. I agree. You know, I expected it to be a little windier up here. I know, I was expecting us to feel everything moving. When you're in the, like, the St. Louis Arch, like, you can definitely feel that wind. And there's only, like, little windows. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. This is, like, you know, not a big deal. Comment question of the day is which one is your favorite building? <laughs> <laughs> which one? And you have to describe it using the most detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, I want to know exactly which one you're talking about. In this shot, right? My favorite is this one. 
Yeah. Or Maybe that one. Nope, yeah, my third is that one. Which one? That's the one that's like the second one you pointed out. Oh, look at these two. These are the two um, apartment buildings that have the parking mm -hmm. garages in it. Oh, yeah, so then that's about where we want them. Yeah. It's a perfect time, sun setting. Mm -hmm. It's not very busy. Mm -hmm. But I don't really feel like the city's super busy today anyway. They've been kind of calm, kind of chill. The little lights are turning on. There goes the sun. Disappearing. Right behind the clouds. And it's going. Going. Gone. Uh, it's pretty crazy you could actually nah, watch yeah, the sun. Yeah. Sunset. <laughs> pretty cool. Brian found a moldorama for the Willis Tower. Wait till the end, guys. You don't buy anything in there. There's lots of stuff. Because it's in there. only two dollars. The, uh, the cheapest one was like seven bucks, I think, and it was like really small. So. Yeah. And this is made right in front of your eyes. Watch as the magic happens. Oh yeah. But you know you Hold will win, drama. and you know I exactly what it's going to look like. Come on, big money, big money, big money. Scrape off the little bottoms. Yeah. Good to go. Two dollar cool. souvenir. Willis Tower. No one I bet you if you ask people how much they'd pay for that, they'd probably say five dollars. Oh, at least. At least five dollars. Then you already won. Well, we were up there yep. and now we're down here. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of Definitely fun. Definitely recommend the sky deck. Definitely recommend the city pass because it's all included. So uh, stay tuned for more Chicago videos. If I've already probably got some up, I'm gonna have more. Uh, just look on the sides and I'll have in the description what we've got going. So thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.